Hello guys, welcome to Diary of Junior Floyd. My name is Ezra and I have returned to the channel. I am very happy to announce that I am done with my year of college. I have time and the availability to become another regular on the channel again. For those of you who do not remember me or are simply new to the channel and don't know who I am or didn't look at my past videos, my name is Ezra, I am 18, I am a college sophomore, and I'm in university in the College of Engineering for a degree in computer science. And I hope to one day become a game developer and make childhood some of my games. Well, that's enough about me, enough of an introduction, and I thought I would move on to the topic that I did bring with me. And so really today's, or rather my topic for today, is what exactly is Junior? We talk about it a lot, we talk about the different the differences in it, we talk about giving tips for how to deal with it. I don't believe that we've ever actually talked about what is exactly gender. And this is really inspired by a comment that we received on one of our videos um, that I really thought would have had some really, really interesting discourse, but it just, it didn't really bring anything to it. And so I really wanted to open it up for the comments below today. Most of you guys, most of the viewers right now, most of you who probably view this channel, right, or viewing my video right now, are going to come to, as you know, with the idea that was taught from your parents that gender is whether or not you were born with a vagina. Or whether or not, or if you were born with a penis, and that is not gender; that is biological sex. Which, even then, you can be born with neither or both. In the case of intersex, uh, the only reason that is should be um, worth any value right there is for your doctor and for um, insurance sake. But beyond that, um, I. Putting my own personal opinions aside, I thought I would discuss this in the sense of what my history class this past spring semester had discussed. Um, gender was a thing that we discussed regularly in almost every class. See, the theme of my history class was identity. Uh, identity of a society which is formed of race, religion, gender, political identity. And so I thought it was very interesting. And during the beginning of the course, the first thing that we that she asked is, what is each of these things? The, you know, a couple guys an uh, answered before me. A couple of them were like, oh, it's whether who you're sexually attracted to, which is not gender at all, but rather sexual orientation. What we were taught is that gender is a strict set of guidelines and rules and rules assigned to a person at birth based on which genitalia they are born with. That is what gender is. Um, now we have to remember that gender isn't always necessarily just going to be boy or girl. That is honestly a very westernized approach to gender and it may be the most known and most common right now but it's not the only in every society. We have to remember that before we had, um, there was just only the girl and boy gender roles that there were also, um, two spirit, third spirit, even, um, a third gender in, there's a third gender in traditional India. Um, in Hawaii, there was another gender. There's third gender, there's fourth genders, and there's just all sorts of things that we just don't think about because that's just not what is, what are, what the values are a typical of a typical Western family, and I have provided links and sources below in the in the description, so don't worry about that. Also, I would like to say um, I would really like to open up the comments for open discussion because with that definition of gender, there is a lot of room for discussion. Is society, you know, it moving on for capable of assigning? new normal roles to people or is it even possible for gender to not be a thing anymore i'm not going to put my answer in there because i just really want to keep this open for discussion for the comments below i also have to remember have to remind you guys that while we do recognize you have an open for you have a right of speech and that um your ideas do not have to necessarily match ours. We do have to keep in mind that there are younger people who are viewing our channel who are um, honestly very confused and very scared. And um, we want to keep the attacking language and the slurs out of the mix. So if you do that, we do have to take away 
those comments. You don't have to agree with us. You can provide your other ideas to us as long as it's not in a very just foul way. We keep this channel a safe space for everyone, regardless of your gender identity, of your sexuality, of um, your age, your race, and your religion. It's safe space for those. And the same goes for people who are supporting ideas but are doing it in an attackful way. We, I'm sorry, we just we can't allow that. Also, um, we have to. I have to remind you that your right of speech in the Constitution of the United States of America it provi it provides that you are not going to be thrown in jail for what you say. It does not mean that we cannot call you out for being an asshole on what you say. So. Anyways, anyways, uh, guys, I want you guys to also put any ideas of anything that you guys want me to talk about in the future or discuss or open a discussion for. And I am really excited to see what discussions bring into this channel and all the comment sections below. And I hope to see you guys again next week. Much Thanks for watching.